as we are winding out, uh, it's again, the, the day is similar to what we've seen in the past in this week where you hit higher levels in the morning and then you kind of peter off from there. In fact, today the Nifty was almost taking aim at 23,500. We've ended a good 80, 90 points off that, uh, barely uh, sticking to the 23,400 mark. But anyway, for what it's worth, let's quickly talk about what has worked today. So on the large cap screen, Sriram Finance, I mean, hitting records, fantastic 5% surge on that stock as we're closing out. Then the life insurers that we were just talking about, HDFC Life has had a nice run, 3.5% on the higher side over there. Divi's, m and and Titan are the next three on the lineup. So very diverse set of stocks, uh, you know, actually on the higher side on the screen. Some technology names like TCS, Wipro and LTI Mindtree also doing well. And finally, l, -L uh, in terms of one of the heavyweights that really performed well. All of these uh, adding to the gains for the Nifty. So I think barring Bank Nifty, which was a little quiet, some of the other constituents did much better today. It was the Nifty Bank actually, which you know put a lid on the gains that the Nifty was seeing, and as a result of which the Nifty uh, expired uh, at 23,400 for the weekly options that were written at that level. There were no problems with the mid cap index. In fact, the rally for that index continues for the seventh day in a row now, a fresh record close for the mid cap index. Strong uh, advanced declines as well, where we had nearly 1,500 stocks gaining for just about 900, which declined. And uh, the, on the way up, uh, the stock of the day definitely had to be. Oracle Financial Services. The big surge that we saw in Oracle overnight, uh, its global parent, not sure if there is a business relation between the two or there could be a, you know, a, a benefit that would directly come to Oracle Financial Services, but the rub off itself set off uh, that stock higher by almost 11%. We saw Chola Investments do well, Gujarat Gas, Gale, all of them picked up towards the latter half of trade as the news on GST came by. But the weakness was of course, uh, you know, the FMCG pack, we had uh, NCC, Dabur, and uh, Marico, along with United Spirits, not doing particularly well. Sun TV too, likely to enter FNO ban. The stock lower by about 2.5%. Well, a lot went on, right? I mean, and uh, by the way, market breadth improved a little bit towards the end. Almost 1,700 higher mm. and under 1,000 stocks lower. So, uh, that's also something which is uh, noteworthy. Uh, so, I mean, that's, I think, uh, the close, not bad at all. Uh, the Nifty ending about 77 points higher, could have been up, could have been more. Uh, so the market, of course, uh, ended ending off the highs of the day. Uh, but uh, this is a good looking screen, 23,400 on the index. Well, it's a wrap on this edition of Closing Bell from all of us here. It's goodbye. Thanks for staying with us. But programming will continue when Markets Forward is coming right up. It'll prepare you for what's next, that is tomorrow. Stay with us.